So this is day one on my little stones project, which are um, little pebbles that I draw when I was on vacation and I decided to go a little bit bigger in the format. So here I have three papers, uh, A3 size, and I'm just loosely starting to draw uh, my little stones. You can see how I hold my, my pen. Uh, this is, I think, an HB uh, Faber-Castell charcoal pen. And I'm, yeah, really loosely drawing. I'm, I'm not trying to be really figurative here. Like, I don't have, like, uh, piles of stones next to me that I want to copy or anything. Um, I'm an abstract artist, first and foremost. So these uh, drawings are just really relaxing for me somehow um, and maybe a little bit more challenging than when I do abstract work but I really enjoy them and you just saw that I went out of the paper I always try to get my my paintings even in abstract my lines going out of the paper like I feel like the painting needs to live outside as well um, I don't want to confine them to the lines, the, the edges of the paper. I want to, to go out. So here I'm just using my finger to blend a little bit the charcoal lines to try to get some thinner and thicker ones. Um, I'm actually switching here with the Stabilo uh, Woody, which is a great little um, crayon that you can dip in water or use it dry. Uh, it's it's really great. I, I love these these Tabilo Woody. Um, if you need a, a list of, of the tools, um, I, I can uh, write this down uh, for you, no problem. And so I'm trying to create like thicker lines here and I use a brush to fade it in. So they get a little gray, gray color, gray, gradient gray. And yeah, I'm just blending my, my charcoal on my woody lines here. So a little bit about me. Uh, I'm Annie Gendreau. I'm an abstract artist. I was born in Quebec, Canada, and my first language is French, so pardon me for my English. That's not perfect, I know. Uh, I live now in Germany, in South Germany, uh, in a small medieval village, which I love. Um, after living in, in big cities like Paris and, and Munich and Amsterdam and Montreal, it's, it's nice to be in a choir and creative environment here. Um, I have my studio in uh, my apartment, which I'm very lucky. I have a big room to paint and um, now I'm on my table, but I also have a full wall with the easel uh, that you will probably see in different videos. Um, so yeah, here I'm blending a little bit and I am probably using um, soon the nail color, uh, little pens uh, that are water soluble as well. Um, I have like an ochre yellow, a gray and a brown, dark brown color. I think it's uh, burn sienna uh, that I will be using. Um, to make some colors in, in the stones. So now I'm using um, some, some pens. It's a uh, Fiber Castell um, Gold Fiber Aqua, which are um, some beige and brown pens um, that also are water soluble and I take a brush and I put some water on the paper and I just go in and draw some lines. I'm just trying to start adding some texture to the background, which I probably would have done um, before I, <laughs> I do uh, the, the stones. I usually prep my, my background, uh, but I don't know, this time I just wanted to start um, drawing the stones and now I realize Hmm, I should do something about this background. So yeah, this is uh, what I was doing now. Um, I'll probably come in uh, in the end uh, with some acrylic paint and, and try to, to add some more of that texture that I love so well. Um, I have a very large brush for these little stones here, but it's also good to use some tools that are um, 
either very big when you're drawing small or the opposite and it makes some different uh, marks and effect. I use a lot of that blue paper that I have in my hand all the time. This is like the shop, uh, what they call the shop blue paper, which is like a scut towels, but a little bit thicker. And they are great because I can reuse them. At the end of the day, I just try to spread them out and let them dry. And the next day I can use it again. So it's not so wasteful. And they are really absorbent and really great when you're doing uh, water soluble um, drawings or water watercolor. Um, I'm deciding now to add a little bit more of my little stones. I felt like some areas were a bit empty. Um, and I always uh, see these three papers as one. So I, I connect them all together. Um, to, to create, create some kind of triptych or, um, yeah, I imagine them all hanging together uh, as a group. As you can see, I take a lot of time to blend and remove and add and um, using different uh, pens and pencils and water soluble tools. Um, I'm going to end up taking three days to do them. Here I'm using uh, my, my nail color and water on a brush that I just um, let it drip around also for the background. And now I switch to white acrylic titanium, uh, titanium white paint and a brush and I'm going over some of the, the stones. Um, it's gonna have a little bit more dimension because the the, the paint is obviously much thicker than the water color uh, that I've been using. Um, so again, uh, my blue shop towel to blend in. At some point, I'm gonna go outside and apply a fixative uh, on, on these uh, before I continue because the charcoal pens are always uh, smooshing around which is great but uh, sometimes you want it a little bit more clean uh, around the stones so um, I'm gonna fix it and then I continue working so um, I'm pretty much done with with the uh, one here um, I'm adding a little bit more of the acrylic paint and I will soon call it a day. I'm realizing now that these uh, videos are quite long, so this is my first one, so please be gentle. Uh, but I might not record tomorrow, day two, uh, but I will do a recap of it. Um, I hope that was uh, enjoyable and uh, useful, and please don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you.